Hi everyone, I'll be introducing and talking you through Yonex's huge Barmenta Racket range and series, and I'll cover their unique traits, strengths, and potential weaknesses, which should give you a better understanding of what is available. So in 2021, Yonex has quite a few Racket series going, and they are split into three categories power, speed and control. And within these three categories, the power category contains the Astrox or Voltric series and in the speed category we have the Nano Flare and Nano Ray category. So on the control side of things we have the Arc Saber series and then we have the Dwara in between the speed and power as well as on the fringes of the control. Hence we have six main racket series that your next manufacture. And as you can tell, players who want out and out power typically go with an Astrox or Voltric racket. So from the racket matrix, these two series feature head heavy rackets with the Astrox series being the newer of the two. So the latest flagship racket from the Astrox series is the 100ZZ, which Victor Axelsen and Sina Newell are playing, whilst Kevin Sanjaya Sukumuljo and Gideon Marcus Fernaldi are playing with the Astrox 88S and 88D. Newer models of Astrox 88s will be released soon, so subscribe to the channel to learn more about them when they are released. So current top-end Voltric rackets in the 2021 catalogue feature rackets such as Voltric Glance and the Voltric Flash Boost, but the legendary Voltric Z Force 2 can still be found in stores fairly easily, which shows their popularity too. The potential downsides to head-heavy rackets are they could be slightly sluggish compared to even or headlight rackets models. So hence, you often see manufacturers trying to compensate by making the racket frames slightly smaller or making the rackets slightly shorter, so you have a sharper, faster swing. Now, if we look at the speed category, we find the Nano Flare and Nano Ray series in there. The Nano Flare is the newer series with a slogan of excess rapid fire speed on every shot in a headlight racket built for power. So plenty of hard hitting words there, whereas the Nano Ray series is the older generation of headlight rackets which succeeded the Nano Speed models, which some of you might actually remember. So current models of the Nano Flare rackets are extremely popular across pros as well as casual users with the Nano Flare 700 and 800 being the standout models. We traditionally believe headlight rackets lack power, but with modern materials and advancement in manufacturing technology, I don't really believe this is the case anymore. So plenty of hard hitters on the World Tour circuit play with headlight rackets, so it's all down to technique, timing, physical ability and personal preference. Uh, we then quickly look at the control category which only features the Arc Saber series. The Arc Saber series tend to have its rackets come in even balance, so they have power but also a certain amount of speed when required. To be honest, I did not expect the Arc Saber series to survive this long. I remember the Arc Saber 7 was introduced in 2007 and the Arc Saber 10 was introduced for the 2008 season, ready for the Beijing Olympics. The one quality which the Arc Saber series stood out to me was its user friendliness. This series creates rackets which give you help in a way where if you're not on a good day, you can still play your shots and the racket will guide the show to where you want it to go. Other more demanding rackets may not have been able to do that, however, this series is starting to show its age where if you've picked up and swung a current top end Astrox or Nano Flare series, such as the 88s or the 100ZZ Astrox models, or the Nano Flare 800, you can feel the Arc Sabers don't swing as fast or as buttery smooth as the latest models. So what name will Yonex give the updated series for the Arc Sabers? Leave them down in the comment section below and let's see if we can get Yonex to take notice of them. And we then come down to the final series which is the Dwara, which is in a special position of having all three categories within its arsenal. So the Dwara series have been extremely popular with both the pros and the casual players. The Dora series features a double-sided frame, which then stipulates a specific forehand side as well as a backhand side. The forehand side tends to have a box frame shape, which is supposed to help power generation, and the backhand side has a V or sword shape helping aerodynamically to cut through air. This is hopefully will provide you with a faster swing speed. The Doras generally come in even balance but leaning towards the head heavy side on the top end models. So on a scale of 1 to 10 for head heaviness, the Doras tend to be around a 6 or a 7 in terms of head heaviness, whereas the Arc Sabers are generally a 5 or a 6, depending on what you play. If you want to learn what rackets the pros were playing with at the recent Talon Open Super 1000 tournament, click up here. 
uh, plenty of surprising rackets feature in there or if you want to learn how to pick up a suitable and perfect badminton racket for yourself it is also up here. So list the rackets you play with in the comments section and if you're based in the UK go check out YC Sports for all your badminton needs and use code CKYEW for an additional discount on top of very competitive pricing already. Link in the description below and I will see you in the next one.